I know that was a bit of a clickbaity title. This is not the biggest and most expensive 18 model van we've ever had in the shop. But in that box there is, and I'm quite excited about it. So I'm gonna stop waffling. It's not gonna be a long intro this time. We're just gonna zip this straight open and I'm gonna show you this totally epic model that is very expensive. Psycho nice ready as always. Straight into zipping the box open. Now we are on the shop floor as always and you are gonna hear background noise and possibly see people walking around. Oh, and thank you to everyone who came to visit the shop and museum this weekend. It's great meeting you, great chatting with you. Thank you very much for taking the time. Right, packaging. Oh, we've got a giant invisible pillow. There it is. So what have we got? Bespoke Collection by Greenlight. Oh, it's a Greenlight model, which they do some pretty cool stuff. Is this a Greenlight? This one is also a green light model. This is 124th scale. This one though, I'll flip this round, because I'm gonna slide it out very carefully. So we have Bespoke Collection by Greenlight, fine resin automobiles. So this one is resin, whereas this one is die cast. And it is still incredibly heavy. What have we got? So, adult collectible contains one resin vehicle, one 12 scale limited edition, and it is, of course, the iconic A Team van. Sorry about the interruption. So, we have the iconic A Team van in one 12 scale limited edition by Greenlight. It's their bespoke collection. The box is rather cool, it's a little bit marked, which is a shame. Okay, the A Team van is a 1983 GMC Vandura. There you go. Now, I know it was specially customised for the TV show. I'll just close that down. Now, I know it was specially customised for the TV show, so it's not a standard van. And I think what we will do is get this straight open and have a look at it. Oh, what have we got underneath here? Uh, Greenlight LLC. And just on social media, Greenlight Collectibles. BF Goodrich. Stephen J Channel Productions. Okay, so, all right, so it is, a, it is an officially licensed product. Which is cool. And it is particularly hard to maneuver. Now, if you're a kid of my age, there is not really a lot I need to tell you about the 18 because you'll know it already. But if you are younger, how can I explain the A-Team? So A-Team was obviously a TV show. It ran for 98 episodes, and I think only one person was ever killed in it. And considering they were using automatic weapons a lot and blowing things up, it makes them worse shots than a Stormtrooper. So how can I explain pretty much every single episode of the A-Team? Well, basically they were soldiers of fortune that were being hunted down by the government for a crime that they didn't commit. Did we ever find out what that was? I can't remember. They would get hired by random people to solve problems that the police just couldn't solve. George Peppard had to dress up as a Chinese laundryman. Mr. T had to be sedated so he could fly. The guy from Battlestar Galactica would steal something by smiling at women. And there was a crazy guy that would steal helicopters. They would then overcome quite a lot of adversity, build something out of garbage that would defeat their enemies, and then it would all start again next week. Let's get the lid off it. Hopefully this is the right way off. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it stings. It smells like fiberglass. Well, it's resin though, isn't it? Right. Ah, okay. So, what they've done with this model, these, those bits there are just stuck on bits of acetate, which are very thin. And if you were to pick the model up by those, you would pop them in or split them or crack them. So I'm presuming the only way I can get this out is to put my hands in there like that. Blimey, it's heavy. That is really awkward to get out of the box.
Now as a kid, watching the TV show, and I loved the TV show, and the van really was one of the fifth characters in it. It was very, very, very cool. I think the only reason they drove around in the van was because there was four of them, and it used to, I'm sure it used to have all the machine guns in the back. Okay, resin model means that no doors, windows, nothing opens on it, which is a shame. Ah, price, I'll get to that in a minute. But right, so what do you need to know about this model? It, the finish is incredible on it. I had no idea watching the TV show as a kid that the van was two-tone. I always thought it was all black, but obviously we know now that, um, oh, there are some little tiny air bubbles in the paint. There is an awful lot of detail on here, and I'm gonna cut in some close-ups. You've got the bull bar, radial tires. I mean, it's a really good model. It's really accurate, and that's what they can do with resin, is they can get real accuracy. But what they can't do is opening and closing doors, which is a shame. Does it have a sliding? Yeah. I mean, if that door slid open, if those doors moved and those doors moved and the bonnet lifted up and you had some engine detail, this would be flipping epic. Excuse me. But, and are you ready for this? The price on this on the shop floor is a... Let's wait for that noisy van to go past. The price on the shop floor for this model is... <laughs> Yeah, it's expensive. Stop stalling, Mark. Stop trying to be dramatic. The price for this, if you wanted to buy it from Brooks Collectibles, is £575. <laughs> that was a long dramatic pause, wasn't it? I mean, it's so cool. There's no other paperwork. It said a limited edition on the box, didn't it? I mean, this will set you back about 45 quid which is die cast, it's 124th scale. I think the 118th is about 120 quid, possibly a little bit less, possibly a little bit more, I'm not sure, because I don't have one at the minute. Hello there, Hi. you all right? So I have no idea what I was waffling on about. I think it was probably the price of the van, and it is incredibly expensive. I mean, the detail is immense. The exhausts are really cool. The tires and wheels are great. That was it, yeah, limited edition, but it doesn't say anything on it. Does it say anything underneath? And I need something to rest it on to turn it over, I think. I'm just gonna put it back on this for a second. The only thing that moves on this are the wheels. Oh, right, okay. So it says underneath it says 1983 GMC Ventura. Van, sorry, underneath it says 1983 GMC Vandura used under license, and then there is a little there's a little plate that says 192. So this one is a limited edition. It's number 192. I can't imagine they made a lot of them. Someone I'm sure will let me know what the production run for this was in the comments section below. I suppose I should have researched that before I started the video, shouldn't I? I'm gonna do some close-ups. I'm gonna cut them in so you can see around the model. Ah, yes, inside, right, so. Cause no it's a horrible noise, right? Sorry. Cause nothing opens in this. It's gonna be really difficult to show you pictures of the inside of it, but it has four seats. It has a telephone. Do you have a telephone in the van in the show? I don't remember it having a telephone in it. A telephone in a vehicle might have actually been a requirement for any George Peppard show, because I remember he was in another TV series, stay still, another TV series called Banachek, where he had a phone in his car. I think he mainly drove around in that wearing tracksuits and solving crime. Sort of like a rubbish Thomas Crown affair, if I remember rightly. I don't know if I've said this already, but I mean, the car was as important a star of the show as thinky, angry, steely, crazy were the main characters or their personas in the TV show. So the only thing that moves on this are the wheels. The detail is epic, the finish is epic, the price is ludicrous. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm selling it. And if you do want to buy it, like I say, it is £575. There's four seats, a telephone, and I know in the comments below, because I've had, I've cut my finger, I've never done that. Must have self-harmed unboxing this. I know I'm gonna get the comment when I say, tell people how much it is in the shop, because it's gonna go out on display in a minute. You can tell I could get a real car for that, and I imagine someone's gonna put that in the comment section below too. Yes, you can. 
but I don't think you're going to get a bigger, better, more detailed version of this model for the money anyway. Oh my god, I'm pouring with blood, what have I done? I don't think you're going to get a better 18 grand model, it's just superb. And I like it because it's not perfect, you know, it should have opening doors and things like that, but it doesn't, I'm really bleeding now. But it looks great, it really does, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, the wing mirrors, the wing mirrors are actually mirrored, which is a nice touch, they're super huge as well. You've got all this custom work, you've got the square exhaust out the side, got the license plate on it. Now here's the thing, they were soldiers of fortune on the run from the police, the military and the government and they drove around in a van that was instantly recognisable. How come they never got caught? They're going to go back to the car and get warm. I mean even today if you were driving around in this, it would still look really cool. It stands up, it really does. You know, and I think when you see a lot of the modern Ford Transit vans with body kits on them, this is what they're trying to emulate. I mean, it's possibly one of the most iconic vans on TV. Between this, the Mystery Machine and Postman and Pat, I don't think there's a more famous instantly recognizable van in the world. Also, if you're watching this video 10 years in the future and I still have this van in the shop, please make me an offer on it. That's a noisy kid. I'll tell you what, should we take a look at the 124 scale one alongside it? Well, that was harder to get out of the box than I thought. Oh, this one does have opening doors. So the detail on that's not bad, really. Can we bring it round and show you the plans? So this is the smaller version of the van. I'm just going to quickly spin that round, finish is nice, back doors don't open, it's got the four seats in it, it doesn't have the telephone on the dashboard, I don't know if I can, yeah the other one has a telephone on the dashboard there, but but you have got some dashboard detail, you've got some inner door card detail, like I say doors front and back do open, quick update on the video, um, I'd actually finished recording it. I was doing some close-up shots, just trying to get inside so we could see. And what I've done is I've shone a light through here, and even though the back windows are tinted, which you, you can't really see in through, there are two cupboards either side here with quite a lot of detail in, which you're never ever gonna get to, never ever gonna be able to see. Although there are five screws in the base, and I don't know if you're meant to unscrew those and lift this off which I don't fancy doing, to be able to see the detail inside. Now I'm sure in the TV show they were, were they gun cabinets or where they kept all the fake IDs and I don't know, makeup and disguises and things, were they all stored in the back of here? I'm sure it was just guns, but it was the 80s and it's a long time ago. My memory ain't what it used to be. Hi Graham, you just text messaged me by the way. Which reminds me, if you are passing through Blackpool and you would like to come and visit the shop, you're always welcome. At the minute we're posting our opening hours on Facebook and Instagram. You can also shamelessly follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you'd like to. But now, uh, but now what I'm gonna do is get back to the video of this and showing you more of the detail I'm going to go around it with the camera and um, get some close-ups and pictures of it so that you can see more of the detail on it. It is an absolute shame that it doesn't open up, none of the doors or anything open up to see any of that incredible detail that's inside. But it's, um, I mean it's an odd thing, I know it's there now, I'm intrigued to see what it looks like, but I'm never really going to get to see it properly, which is an odd thing. You would have thought they'd at least made a, you know, you know, why would you just not make the back end come off or something so you could at least look at it and then put it back on? I don't know. It is a fantastic model though. Do I keep saying that? It is a great model. It's greatly expensive, but it is great. And I'm surprised I haven't broken it yet, he says tempting fate, because I know how clumsy I am and how much detail and how many fiddly little extra bits there are on this. I mean, they have done such a great job. Just why didn't you make the doors open? They do on this one. I mean, even this one has back seats in it. I don't know if it has any of the cupboards, though. Again, the back windows are so dark, you can't really tell. It doesn't look like it has any cupboards in this one at all. Just the four seats. Excuse me. But even so, I mean, that's a great model. It's the best part of 45 quid. This one is the best part of 575 quid. So, so it's better value versus Epic Toy.
don't know if you can hear that car stereo outside, but it is so loud. Actually, a Taylor Swift fan on me in Blackpool. If you haven't seen it already, please go and watch the Chucky video from last week. And if anyone is in the market for a very expensive 18 van, you know where to come now. Okay, thus concludes this week's Toy Tuesday. I'll be back shortly with another Toy Tuesday that will be linked around here. And take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon for another video. I'm off to play with my 18 van now. I think that's everything. Biggest 18 van model in the world. No, it's not. It probably isn't. Probably someone else will have made one, a scratch built one or something like that. But this is 112 scale, it's mahoosive and it weighs a ton. Yeah, how can I explain the 18? No, I don't know how I can explain the 18.